gonna be a hot one today, so we better get after it. Let's get to work. I was just thinking about a couple of comments that I've had over the last few weeks on my videos. Uh, one viewer thought that I talked interesting, but she couldn't quite put her finger on it. And the other one said, uh, or asked me, where I was from because I talked funny. Well, I'll tell you, I grew up in the hills of the Missouri Ozarks, and everybody that I grew up with talked like I do. But when I went away to college, I had an interesting thing happen. I met with my academic advisor for the first time, and he said, what do you want to do when you get out of school? And not really knowing at that point what I wanted to do, but I knew my dad always admired the guy who reported the markets at 4.30 every afternoon on the radio. And I told my advisor, I said, maybe I'd like to be the guy who does the market reports on the radio. And he looked at me and he said, well, son, you've certainly got the face for radio, but if you're gonna be on the radio, you've got to lose the accent. And I just couldn't believe that I had an accent because again, everybody talk the way I do where I was raised. surprised when I saw this young bull standing here, just a hundred yards from the older bull. The young bull is not supposed to be in this pasture, so we've got to try to figure out how he got in. This is the only place where I can see a strand of broken wire, so that's probably where he got in. Now we got to get him back to where he belongs. learned how to drive very well yet, but we've got to let him make up his own mind that uh, there's a gate open up ahead and he needs to go to it. We finally realized that, oh yeah, this is the bunch of cattle I've been with all summer, so I need to get back to them. They have to make up their own mind sometimes. up all my fencing supplies to go patch that hole in the fence that this young bull created. I'm not sure what all I'll need, so I'll just load everything and take it with me. I'm reminded of how easily they can hide even in shorter grass until their mother tells them to move. They just stay in one place. Before I can begin to patch this fence, I've got to remove a bunch of old dead and green multiflora rows out of the fence row. I can remember when I was nine or 10, accompanying my dad to meetings put on by the Cooperative Extension Service, uh, Department of Conservation, Soil Conservation Service, really promoting multiflora rows as a living fence, encouraging all the farmers to put it in their fence rows so they'd never have to build fence again. Uh, well, what they didn't realize was that it would take over the rest of your pasture as well. And we, since then, farmers have spent millions of dollars trying to eradicate multiflora rose. But it was promoted by a lot of government agencies back 60 some years ago. And I guess that's one reason I'm a little reluctant to uh, uh, be the first on board with any new idea today, because I can remember how this multiflora rose was promoted and how 
devastating it's been to all of us since then. We got the fence patched though, and hopefully that'll keep that young bull in for another few weeks. We're now in what is typically the very hottest part of summer. It's tough on cattle and people, but the cows find a way to cope. Cows find water, they find shade, and as they have from the beginning of time, animals find ways to survive all extremes of weather. Today it's so hot, it's hard to imagine that just seven short months ago, when these same cows were huddling up in the woods to get out of 10 below zero wind and snow, and here it is close to 100 today. Today we've got to do a little maintenance on the mineral feeders and the fly mops. Uh, this one's gotten out of whack, so we had to take it off and put it back on so that the hole in the fly mop lines up with the filler hole. Got to do that once in a while, not very often, but sometimes. And about once a week, we have to refill these fly mops with the fly repellent. Again, it's doing a pretty decent job keeping the flies off their face this summer. Well, we've got bulls back where they're supposed to be and pretty much everything else done, so let's call it a day. <laughs>